Now, as we move into the next 12 hours, temperatures are actually going to hold rather steady, if not bump up a degree or two. So as we move into the overnight hours, at least close to the lakefront, we'll be in the low to mid 30s. Inland spots will get closer to 30 degrees. And then as we move into tomorrow, well, our temperatures really aren't going to climb that far. We're just going to see this bump up as we move into tonight. That's because there's a storm system. It's just two hours south. It is going to push in some of that warm air, but anything else from the storm system will mainly stay two hours south as we move into tonight and tomorrow. But that does not mean we're going to completely miss out on the precipitation. So as we move into the next couple of hours, mostly cloudy skies for this evening. If you're going anywhere again, you need the layers, but none of them have to be waterproof because we are not expecting rain, sleet or snow as we move into the next few hours. As we get into early tomorrow morning, though, this is our best chance for some light snow, maybe even a dusting in a few spots, and that may be just enough to create some slick spots on roadways early tomorrow morning. So keep that in mind. If you do have some place to be early tomorrow, just be prepared for that light dusting, but I don't expect anything more than that. We're dry by the lunch hour. We're actually start to lose the clouds too as we get into the afternoon. Mostly sunny skies expected, hopefully just before sunset. Uh, if not, though, we'll clear out as we move into the overnight hours and getting ready for a chilly night on Saturday. So tonight temperatures are going to be in the low to mid 30s. Inland spots closer to 30 degrees. Just looking at that slight bump up in temperatures tomorrow. Looking at highs, though, about the same as what we're going to see as we move into tonight. We'll be in the mid 30s as we get into the afternoon. Just a chance for that little bit of snow or wintry mix even. So some sleep mix in by early tomorrow morning. No freezing rain though, and I don't expect really rain either as temperatures will be just too cold for that. We dropped to 21 to start off your Sunday, then we're up to 33, so a chilly day on Sunday, but at least we'll have the sunshine. Sunny skies to end fall as winter begins on Tuesday, and that chance for a white Christmas, well, looking pretty slim. We will have a chance for a little bit of light snow late Tuesday and again on Friday, but both of those storms don't look to bring us too much, if anything at all. We'll be